Hi guys, uh, my name is Shad and today I'm going to show you how to resolve an error that happens in the BI administration tool when you are trying to create a new repository. And uh, this is an image of the error right here saying that uh, the connection has failed and uh, it gives uh, the TNS could not resolve the connect identifier specified. Uh, so we're going to simulate how exactly this error comes about and after resolving it we'll simulate again to see how uh, if that has been uh, the issue has been uh, resolved. Let's go ahead and open our BI administration tool so we can start uh, to get this done. Uh, go ahead and uh, press here on file in the BI administration tool right here the left corner then create new repository I'm gonna name the repository BI sample there we go and I'm gonna leave my you can leave the location as the default let me just save mine though in a different location uh, right quickly uh, there we go and um, go ahead and put your password after putting the password right here it's gonna ask you to retype it press next um, Selecting my connection type is going to be OCI 10G 11G right here. Then my data source name is ORCL. Uh, make sure it matches yours or you have a different name. I'll put the correct name in there. I'm going to put my username BI sample password next. When I press next, just going to wait right here. Uh oh, there we go. This is the bad boy right here. So this is the error that I'm getting. Uh, the connection has failed and then it gives you like the different codes right here. Uh, and a brief description, uh, TNS could not resolve the connect identifier specified. Uh, let's go ahead and just press OK right here so we can close this out. Again, we're not going to save this. I'm just going to cancel, uh, just close it out. Uh, go to file right here so we can exit the BI administration tool. I'm not going to save again because we couldn't proceed with the creation of the repository. But uh, go ahead uh, and delete the BI, BI sample in the default directory that you, uh, you have saved the repository so that you make sure it's clear or that folder is clear uh, for future creations. Okay. Um, deleting mine here so after that go back into start menu go to computer click on C drive click on app click on your user and then click on product after clicking product go ahead and click add the version name right here go ahead and click DB home one look for network after clicking on network right here go to admin then after clicking admin, I look for the file here that says TNS names. Uh, this is in fact an uh, text file, uh, TNS.org file. Um, just look here, you see it get different parameters uh, uh, for the connection. Uh, just have a look. Uh, but however, going back right here, I'm just going to copy the, for, the, uh, uh, the text file and uh, go back to my C drive, go to uh, middleware home. I click right here and I look for Oracle BI1, click on that folder, go ahead again look for network folder, click on that folder, then look for the admin folder also, and just click on that. Right here inside this admin folder, this is where we're going to, to paste uh, the tnsnames.ora uh, file right here, there we go once i do that we should be good go ahead and close this out now let's go back to the bi administration tool let's see if this has been resolved uh gonna go right here we're gonna create again the new repository file new repository uh i'm gonna name my bi sample there we go i'm gonna leave the default mine like i said i'm just gonna save it on a different location uh put in your password right here password click next after clicking next, what I'm going to do is to select my connection type, which is OCI 10G 11G. And I'm going to put here my data source name, which is ORCL. 
after that I put my username is bi sample then I put right here my password then after putting the password click next oh yeah well we just uh, resolved that issue so we should be good to go just uh, okay that uh, close this if you want to save go ahead and save that if you want to proceed with uh, creating the repository as for mine I'm just deleting this or just go ahead and delete if you don't want to uh, proceed uh, delete it in the default directory and close out everything else again we already done I already showed you how to resolve it again my name guys is Shad uh, feel free to subscribe like and comment any questions it will work thank you